Yo, yo, what is up, guys? We're joining up with GMNE for this episode. What is up, GMNE? Hey, what's up, RJ? It's a great pleasure to be here again. It was a long time. Hope you're doing well. Definitely great to have GMNE back. He represents the French Chiliad mystery community. In this video, we have a huge question. Will the UFOs come to Grand Theft Auto Online? They're the biggest secret in single player. You actually need 100% to see them to begin with. But in GTA Online, the only UFO we have is the crashed UFO where we obtained the alien egg. Before they add the crashed UFO in the smuggler, in the smuggler runs DLC or, or the bunker DLC, I don't remember exactly when, they add the crashed UFO. You're exactly right on that with the alien egg mission. But before, when it was the car DLC, when we could buy the, the office and the, the storage for the cars, they also had a UFO. It was the ship. The ship was not crashed. He's like perfect shape and it looked like if it's work and we haven't done nothing to see that UFO. We unlock the alien egg mission doing 600 resupply mission and then you have a chance to get it. But for the normal ship, we haven't done that. I am sure that we have some stuff to do. In that DLC with the storage car, we have an amount of mission to do or something to do like this to get to see the ship maybe working or flying somewhere. That's an amazing point by Giamani. He is exactly right. We found the crashed UFO in the files before the actual mission was found by doing over 600 bunker missions or resupply missions. So that one's been discovered, but they also found another UFO, which looks a lot like the one we're about to see. I'm flying up to it right now. This one is just like the crashed UFO that we just have to see something, you know, just to be spectator of something. Like a prop but or something? Yeah, exactly. But you're right on something, is that if you remember, in the old gen version, we had the alien rune overlay. You remember that, uh, that overlay that was moving with the alien runes everywhere? And that looked like the HUD from a flyable UFO. I think that was even confirmed. I think you had a lot of people just flat out say that that is indeed some sort of overlay for a possible flyable UFO. Maybe it's something they stripped out of the game, but considering they've given us just about everything else in Grand Theft Auto Online, to actually be able to buy a UFO, I'm sure it would be so much money, maybe upwards of like $10 million or something like that. But doesn't this UFO look a lot like the one that was found in the game codes and possibly the same one that will have that UFO HUD overlay for when you're flying it? You're absolutely right. The UFO that was found uh, in the code file is exactly the same that the UFO that we can see where is word FIB. The only thing is the the ship is just a just a little bit smaller. It just have the same number of antenna. The the FIB UFO have uh, 13 antenna on top of them. The ship have just five, and it's not wrote FIB on the ship UFO. All right, so that is confirmation that it is different right? It's not the same UFO. They clearly put in something new. Or do you think that the Zancudo UFO, most likely one that's controlled by the government, I could see us having a go against that. Maybe they're attacking us with the Zancudo UFO. So here is my, here is what they have in head about UFOs and stuff. The, the ship UFO is the same kind of the one underwater. That is the basic aliens we can say ufo not humans you know not created by humans yeah and then the ship crash in the mission where you can collect the alien egg we are going to talk a little bit about that mission later because we have another theory about it and the thing is that the ufo on the hippie camp and on some on top of mount Chiliad, they are human made from the fib the one that is on top of zenkudo we know that zenkudo belong or work with the IAA. When we could buy the hangar, we had a message saying that it's belonged to a secretary from the IAA, meaning the Zenkudo UFO is IAA made. But really, I would rather prefer got a drivable UFO the same than the Zenkudo one, because he's really like badass looking. You can only imagine the hype. When a GTA Online UFO trailer gets released, that's going to be insane. Here we go. I finally made it over to this UFO GMNE. He's having a hard time, but here it is. So uh, what do you think, man? Do you think there's actually some proof telling us that they will indeed give us this UFO? I'm pretty sure. Listen, Rockstar, they are smart. They know how to do good stuff, how to do, how to make um, the, the, the fans, the community happy. We saw 
that with GTA 5, all the other developers, they got that, they got that if you put a hype in the game, like a kind of mystery alien stuff, it's gonna work. And we see that in Far Cry 5 now, they have a big crop circle everywhere, an alien mystery, and everybody get on that. And you have the same kind of stuff also on Fortnite. Not about aliens, yeah, even some alien stuff, because we got the meteorite and some stuff like this. But we also have some other easter egg relating to GTA 5. And it works. So I am pretty sure that Rockstar will see that and just think, okay, let's just let's just release our alien DLC that was supposed to come in story mode. Let's just release that in online. Considering they were working on it, everything else came out for online. We're probably going to see it in GTA Online, the UFO war, meaning tribal UFOs. We just need somewhere to stash it. Maybe they'll give us a UFO bay somewhere hidden here in San Andreas. But it sounds like you agree with me, Giamani, that we will eventually have UFOs in Grand Theft Auto Online. Something that, you know, a lot of people have left GTA Online. It would bring everybody right back. Yeah, absolutely. And secretly, I'm going to say that I'm still hoping... Because I know that a lot of people are waiting Red Dead Redemption 2, but not so many people as GTA, because even if Red Dead is an amazing game, some people won't like the Wild West atmosphere. It won't be like GTA 5. But I still hope that before they end with GTA 5, that they could release maybe a last solo DLC. Maybe. Yeah, right. Maybe they could give us that before to kill the game. It's, my, it's really a hope that I have. That would be a great love letter to us GTA 5 fans and especially us Rockstar Games fans because we all want that so bad. But we have not heard of them doing any voice work, so I highly doubt we will see these guys back. I think their stories are done. And it looks like unless we have some other kind of crazy character showing up for some other storyline, it looks like we will not receive that GTA 5 DLC. But we will get the UFOs here in GTA Online, G-Many. I may, I agree, but for this one, I'm gonna remind you that you even showed in video that Franklin records some stuff for a solo DLC and he's saying it in an interview. Do you remember that? I know what you're talking about, but I mean, you think it could just involve Franklin? Considering he's the one character you can't eliminate, I guess, you know, they, they might have to use him, really. Yeah, I guess it could. They they could maybe. It's still a hope, but they could still use that recording part to give us something. It's still it's still possible to do it, even if they forget the project. They can still do it. I am sure of that. They got as as we, as uh, Sean Fontaine said. He said he was recording some some stuff for a solo DLC in GTA Five. So they got some record. They already got some stuff, and they worked on those DLC. The mural could also be referring to GTA Online. Now that you have a jetpack in Online, the alien egg is exclusive to GTA Online. It goes right up towards the top, the UFO on Chiliad, and then you have the other UFO on the left there. So this could possibly be just something moved into GTA Online, much like a lot of other things from Grand Theft Auto V single player. But we do have the UFO appearing here 100% only though. At 3 o'clock AM, I could see them doing a second treasure hunt only it being some sort of UFO hunt. Maybe not a flyable UFO at all, Giamani. Perhaps just more secret UFOs being added, this time into online mode. As we already said just before, um, there is still the ship that we have to find, and it's still we still didn't, didn't find it now. So we already have that one. They could eventually add another one to find, and it could be really a good quest, something good to refresh the game, as you said. And... A last thing I forgot to say earlier about, I said that if we got a flyable UFO, it would be the Zenkudo one, but I didn't, I didn't give any argument for that. And it's important to do it, because the other UFO, they don't get any interiors. If you check the interiors of the Zenkudo UFO, you see a lot of details inside. Really a lot. Another thing that Rockstar has just been geniuses about is representing real life within GTA especially here in Grand Theft Auto V, a lot of things that they talk about in the game seem to have happened after Grand Theft Auto V was even released, so I'm not sure how they pulled that off. You could say that the city has a big history of UFO appearances and sightings, 
definitely some unanswered events, much like what happens here on the top of Chiliad. Here it is. I know you can't see it on your screen, Giamenti, but we're looking at the best UFO in the game, the one that shows up only 100%, but it is holographic. We can't actually go in this thing. Maybe we can make it 100% appear, and then this is the one that we're going to fly. Maybe you're going to get mind blown with that. Just, I'm going to drop that here like this and see. Because it's a, it's a theory that can be possible, and we haven't talked about it now. It's like, what if, what if everything is kind of fake, and it's just a big preparation for a movie? Like, we all know that we can see aliens in the uh, cinema studio. It's the only place where we can really see alien. We can see it when we are, like, with Michaels, when we take the, the drugs, and also with, uh, with Barry. But it's also with drugs. So when people are clean, we cannot see aliens or some stuff like this. We see aliens at the st cinema studio. And the UFO crash, the scene with the alien egg, look a little bit weird. Like, it's not normal. The, the egg is there, everybody is dead. You have few aliens that appear and disappear like this, and nothing else happened. Like, what the hell? It's just near the Fort Zancudo, so it should be a lot of more people there. Wow, G Manny, you could be right. The UFO appearance that I mentioned, the Battle of LA, was originally just something that, you know, was a sighting. People said it could have been a weather balloon, but they turned it into a huge blockbuster movie. And here we have Los Santos 2020. Maybe the same thing is happening as we play the GTA 5 storyline. I think you're right, bro. As you said, we know that a lot of Hollywood movie, they come from Los Angeles. The story have a big, uh, the city, sorry, have a big story with UFO. And Hollywood also, it would be just logic that it will be a possibility that everything is just a big movie. We may not get this UFO expansion until 2020 at the pace that they're going, but hopefully we do get it. Let us know what you guys think as well. Will we get flyable UFOs or just UFOs in GTA Online? It's pretty much the only thing we haven't gotten so far. That was a great theory, GMNE. I think you're right. This could all just be one big production. It's a bit... I agree of, of the fact that it's a theory that's a bit going all over the place. But it's kind of logic. It will be a logic um, next to what we have in GTA. Make sure to show love to channels like GMNE. Thanks again for joining up, GMNE. These videos are great. It's awesome to talk to you, man. It's always a pleasure to be here with you and talk about the GTA 5 mystery. It's really, it's really a, a team that we enjoy. And we hope that Rockstar was, will give us really more about it to enjoy it more as rj said guys stay tuned of the on the channel because a lot of stuff are coming a lot of really good content are coming so don't forget to subscribe thumbs up and trigger the bells much love g many definitely drop your comments guys let us know if you want ufos and gta online i'm sure rockstar is listening we have another video coming out for you guys tomorrow so stay tuned for that Stay tuned here at Trippy Commentaries. I'll have a link in the description to Giamenti's channel as he represents the French side of the mystery community. And you can see all that stuff with English subtitles. It works out perfect, guys. Catch you next time. As always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends.